Pisces, hi. So this is going to be a reading for February 19th through the 25th. And I'll uh, take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Uh, let's see, Pisces. All right, the overall energy for the reading, the tower. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. Um, let me, let me take a peek he here in the reading and, uh, oh, okay. I'm still 50-50 on that in the sense of it could be not a good tower or it could be a good tower. You know, there's definitely a change, a, a slight change of plans here. For sure. I'm not sure how well it's taken though. So we'll see. We'll see when we clarify or as we go through the reading. But in the recent past, the Two of Wands, the World card, the Six of Swords. Definitely closing off a cycle here, slowly but surely, taking your time with it, but saying goodbye to something here as you leave it behind. It does look very stagnant for a while there before it actually closes off in terms of, I kind of see you there just being like, oh my god, is this ever gonna come to a close, you know, are things ever going to be different here? Um, I think, yeah, I think slowly but surely overcame that. Uh, in the current situation, the Ten of Cups, the Page of Wands, the Death card. Now that could be the tower right there. Because first, you're showing me something really nice, really good, happiness, playfulness even, like all sorts of great energies, and then bam, out it goes. It's done. It's a done deal. Okay, in the immediate future, the Page of Swords, the Three of Cups, the King of Wands. Interesting. Well, that could go two ways. One, and we'll see more, we'll dig a little more when we clarify, but one, it could be that, yes, something may be looking like, oh my God, it's going south, but we're trying to work on it. We're going to try to restore it. That's one. Two... It could be that everything's going to be okay. You're going to move away from this and find something pretty good by the looks of it. So we'll see where things go. But uh, let's see what's going on here. Let me do the tower. The uh, Eight of Wands, the Nine of Swords, the High Priestess. No, I think um, something happened here. Whether it's a, one of those fights of we're done. I don't want to see you ever again. Get out of my face. I don't want to talk to you. I can't even look at you kind of a deal. Um, either one of those came at play here with this tower. Uh, something has been said for sure. Uh, if not one of those kinds of situations, then something, something that led to someone stressing out that something could potentially be done and over with, you know, whether it was nasty or not, I have no idea, but okay. Uh, let's do the two of wands in the recent past, the hermit, the two of cups, the judgment card. Kind of waiting to balance out here. There is a cycle closing off, yes. But I feel like you're feeling like you're not ready. That's why it's not closing off. That's why it's not taking... That's why it's taking so long. Um, where you don't feel up for, okay, I'm ready to move on. Or I'm ready to let this go. Or I'm ready to close this off. You don't feel completely ready for that. Let me do the world card. The Ace of Cups, the Lovers, the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, could have had to do with a connection. Did this connection even come through or was it something you were kind of waiting to the side there? I'm not completely sure. I'm not necessarily seeing it play out as, oh, okay, you had something going on with someone. Um, not really, ish, kinda. 
I kind of see you sitting to the side of this connection somehow. So you were involved in it in some way, but I don't, I don't know. It's very weird. Usually I see, okay, there's a connection there. Somebody ended it. They moved on. Okay, good. I don't see it like that, even though it shows up like that. I'm like, no, something's up with this one. Or I'm like, I don't feel like it was one of those where it actually completely came together. I don't know. Let's do the Six of Swords. But definitely moving away from it. Or trying to here. Uh, for the Six of Swords, you get the Sun, the Knight of Cups, the Five of Pentacles. Yeah. Trying trying to, to look for happiness. Because the way I see it, it's like you see happiness here, but you're kind of at the side of it where you're not involved in it. So it's kind of like it's not even really happiness. So then I kind of see you in this place of, you know what? Let's just close this off and let me go look out there in the world for an energy of happiness that I can actually be part of. So still very weird in the way that I see it there, but okay. Um, good outcome in the sense of you finally started moving outside of this. Oh, let's daydream about happiness, but okay. Let me do the Ten of Cups. In the current situation, you get the Magician, the Seven of Cups, the Six of Cups. Soul Connection. Working on it. There's something good here showing up for you in terms of possibly love. Possibly. I'm not convinced. It could be any kind of partnership. It is a soul connection for sure. So there's something, there's a sense of partnership for sure that you're actually actively involved in. That looks good. Um, okay. Let me do the Page of Wands. Page of Swords, Queen of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. Energies feel very good, very steady, very passionate in here. Very, ooh, this feels good. You know, where you're feeling your feelings about it. But it looks like no one's rushing through anything. You're just kind of allowing for the flow of this to, to carry out this connection. Okay, let me do the death card then. There it is. The tower. The justice card. The three of cups. <laughs> Plot thickens. Are you freaking kidding me? No. Okay, so, uh, could be one of those situations where, oh man, this sucks if that's the case, because it's going to be tough on you to make a choice here. Uh, but it's kind of looking something like, okay, as soon as you finally stepped into an energy of, all right, this feels good, this feels like it's going someplace, I'm part of it, it's great, it's, mm, everything's fine, everything's on track. And it could be something new that's just kind of unfolding, just coming together and kind of running here-ish. I don't think it's new, new, but new-ish. And then, could it be that the past situation is coming back like, hey, I'm ready for you kind of a deal where it's kind of looking like over there you were looking like you were at the side of it like you weren't even part of it even though you kind of were but you weren't because of whatever the hell was going on there where this whoever this is that's shown up cheerio here is like hey now i'm ready because over there obviously they weren't you were on the side of it Which, if that's the case, uh-oh, because now what, you know? Well, if that's the case, then now you're going to have to kind of align with what you truly feel, you know? And, like, to me, the, the answer is pretty obvious, if that's the case. I'm not going to give it to you because I don't want to influence you, but to me, the answer is pretty obvious here. Uh, to anyone looking from probably outside of the situation, the answer would be pretty obvious. Uh, so try to pretend you're somebody else for a split second so that you get that obvious answer. Um, but if this is the case, I kind of see you being in a pickle here where both energies seem to be showing up at the same time, 
pretty okay. Could this be the case of too little too late? I don't know. It's going to be up to you. But uh, it's one of those, you know, you move on with your life after you spend months, years of, oh my God, this person. And then finally you let them go. Finally you find happiness and then boop, there they are. Oh, now I'm ready. Oh, really? Now you're ready. Okay. Uh, let's do the Page of Swords. In the immediate future, you get the King of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, I like this. I have no idea what you're choosing here, by the way. I have no freaking clue. I'm trying to figure out if you're leaning more towards one energy than another. Because it, it is, at the end of the day, it kind of looks like it's a matter of choice. I don't think it is. I, don't, I, th I think the choice is already kind of made here, but okay, we'll go with it's a matter of choice. Um, but you are leaning towards something, an energy out of the two possibly that really makes sense to you. That's really good for you, you know, where you're feeling like yourself more as being part of it. Um, feels really good. You're not rushing into any kinds of decisions here. You're not, you're just kind of going with or towards the direction that you lean into because it makes you feel good, because it makes you feel more of you. You know, it allows you the freedom to be yourself. It allows you the freedom to, to do you uh, and to listen to yourself, you know, and how you truly feel rather than, oh, it's this because I waited for my whole lifetime to happen or, oh, no, it's this. Fuck off. Where were you for the Nah. It's not going to, the decision, if there's any decision to be made, it's not going to come from those places. It's going to come from a place of fully aligning with yourself and being honest with yourself, you know, about how you feel and what you want. For the three of cups, you get the eight of swords, the hierophant, the temperance card. Tough choice, tough choice to be made here for sure. Because, okay, you know, it would be simple if it would show up like that. You would have the answer right away of, oh, that person from the past, I moved on, everything's fine, I found something else. Oh, and now they're showing up. Oh, I know what I want. It's easy breezy. Mm -mm. It's not that easy by the looks of it. Because whatever that was in the past carries quite the significance. So it's not going to be that easy, for sure. You're still kind of trying to be honest with yourself and kind of trying to fall more into energies that make sense to you and that feel right for you. But that doesn't mean that it's going to be easy. <clears throat> for the King of Wands, you get the Seven of Swords, the Six of Wands, the Nine of Cups. I see you making a decision. In all honesty, I have no idea what your decision is. I just see you reaching a conclusion of one is going to be left behind and I'm going to pursue what makes me feel happy. No idea. Um, hmm. And it doesn't even have to be, don't think about it as, oh, um, my ex came back. Nah, we're not talking about people here necessarily. It could be an energy where, okay, you started off a project, you were like super like, oh my God, this is it. And then you dropped it and then you started something new. And then somehow the old project comes into play saying, hey, you know, you can do this now. Maybe back then it wasn't the right time or something. So it doesn't, don't get stuck into thinking, oh yeah, my ex is coming back. And it mm, doesn't have to, to work like that. Could it be even friends here that are, I have no idea what I'm talking about here. If it's a significant other or an ex significant other or, you know, but ultimately i see you making the right decision the right decision as in what feels right for you you know and that's the point you know so okay let me see what the universe has as a final advice for you the king of swords the nine of swords the ace of cups you're trying to be logical about it at this time uh i wouldn't it's creating a lot of stress. It's making the choice harder than it needs to be because you're trying to look at it from a very practical perspective. What makes sense? What looks good on paper? Whereas what I'm seeing throughout the reading, it's not about that. It's about what makes you feel right. You know, it's about you putting yourself first here. 
Not about, oh, them, oh, poor them, they're this, that, and the other. Oh, poor this, that, no. You, poor you, basically. So, yeah. Okay. Whew, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped, and I'll see you next time. Bye.